The next step in the process is to begin cutting uh, washers or thrust washers to go between the gears. Um, when we build this stack of gears, we don't want brass rubbing on brass, so I'm going to be making these um, PTFE uh, washers here. Uh, PTFE is polytetrofluoroethylene, and you probably know it as Teflon, and obviously uh, Teflon is very, very low friction. So by making the washers uh, out of Teflon, we have uh, a nice smooth surface for the gears to, to turn on. Uh, what I've done is I've taken this rod of, uh, of Teflon, I've drilled and, and reamed a, uh, a hole down the center, which is the, the right size for the, um, for the main shaft. And now I've loaded my slitting saw in here. This is a 0 0.016 thickness um, slitting saw. I need to zero its height at the top of the... Um, of the blank, so I'm going to use the paper technique and just bring the Z axis down until it um, pinches the paper. Set my Z zero to zero. Back off a bit. And now I have a little uh, G code program. Trying to start up. I just dropped it down the thickness of the of the uh, washer that I want, plus the thickness of the blade, obviously, because we measured from the bottom. I'm using um, isopropyl alcohol as the uh, as a lubricant here. It works very well with uh, with Teflon. I'm just you know dripping it onto the blade. What G-Code is going to do is it's going to bring the blade into a little bit more than halfway. And then the rotary table is going to turn 180 degrees to complete the cut. There it goes. You really have to keep it lubricated. And that's all there is to it. Just um, blow off the, um, the swarf, and, and there you have it. Uh, the orrery needs uh, about a zillion of these things, so I'm going to be at this for a while. But that's how I make these washers. I, I looked online and tried to find washers. It's obviously, it'd be easier to just buy them, but I couldn't find anything. Uh, that was the appropriate size. Um, so, I'm doing it this way. <laughs>